saw the funniest video. What to do, or what was it? How to prepare your money for a recession. And I started laughing my ass off because anyone that is making a video that speaks to you, the common man, about what to do with your money, how to prepare for the recession, where to place your money, they're messing with you, they're flat out lying with you because if you are the common man that doesn't have significant assets above and beyond what you need for your living expenses, you there's nothing you can do to prepare for the recession. There's nothing you can do to move your money around in the recession because you don't have any money. And I see these videos and everyone's like, yeah, this is to be smart, to be sophisticated. I see so many of these aspirational videos that are not grounded in reality. And this is why the common man can't stand a chance in this global reset and this recession. The wolves are about to eat. There's a guy here on YouTube by the name of Ray Dalio. He has a video talking about the economy. Go ahead and, ch uh, t and Google Ray Dalio's video about the economy. It's a very good video that's put out by a wolf. Even though Ray is a nice guy, make no mistake about it, Ray is a billionaire. Ray is a wolf because if he wasn't a wolf, he wouldn't be a billionaire. The wolves are getting ready to eat. The billionaire class is getting ready to munch on the economy. And I see all of these videos, like with Wall Street bets. The Wall Street bet guys were feeling pretty confident that they thought that they handed it to these hedge funds. Little do they know that they don't have enough money to move the market the way that a hedge fund moves the market. They don't have the money. And there were a lot of hedge funds that got on the Wall Street bet sides, and that's who made a lot of money. Because here's the thing that we need to have this conversation. If you are an average person, and we're gonna define an average person, number one, you have a job. Number two, you don't manage your money well. Number three, you don't have any a savings account Number four, you have debt. This is the situation of the average person. The average person has a negative net worth. So if you fit the classification of the average person, there is nothing you can do to prepare for the global reset. There's nothing you can do to prepare for the recession. All you can do is bend over and spread your cheeks and take it. I know that's a very harsh message, but I gotta speak a little reckless. I gotta speak a little rough because there are some people out here who are, are the average person who are consuming these videos on YouTube as if they're gonna get ahead. It's hard to get ahead when you're already 10 steps behind. It's very hard to get ahead when you have a lot of debt. I was, over at my neighbor's house, you know, when I had lived in the house and we were just having a conversation about money because they're millionaires and they pay cash for their house. And we had a conversation that only people who have surplus money can have. See, when you get in a situation where you have surplus money, normal bills don't bother you. You don't even think about it. And they said something, the wife said something very key. She says, because our house is paid for, our cars are paid for, and we have no debt, it literally takes $25,000 to $3,000 a month for us to live. See, this is one of the things that I preach, and this is one of the things that I was trying to do with Savage Finance, because if you're an average person, debt is killing you. Debt is robbing you of opportunities. And this is one of the reasons that the wolves are about to eat. All of the wolves have something that you as an average person do not have. They have surplus cash. And some of these wolves are sitting on billions in cash. Now, you'll watch these YouTube videos that's like, don't save cash. 
invest your money, invest your money, invest your money, right? But all of these billionaires, the people who are authentically wealthy, authentically wealthy, more wealthy than these YouTubers who are telling you not to save cash. Because let's go ahead and have this conversation. As a business owner, you need to have cash money in the bank. And I have heard many people, Anton bitch ass Daniels, talk about, I'm rich, I, I invest all my money. Once again, I have been around truly authentically wealthy people. And this is a common thing. All of the wealthy people that I know have cash money in the bank. Yet all of the not wealthy people, the people on YouTube who are preaching all of this crap to you, don't save no money. The bank's the last place you need to put money. Yet the wolves, the people with billions have cash money in the bank. I want you to really think about that. I really want you to think about it. Cause once again, I don't listen to people who have not demonstrated superior financial awareness than me. I don't really listen to these people. So I have cash money in the bank and I'm gonna keep to having cash money in the bank because that cash money represents me, giving me the ability to take advantage of opportunities. Wanna? Like, let me go ahead and explain something I'm getting ready to do. Uh, when I started the car rental business, my goal was to make money. It could turn into a complete and other shit show, right? Well, because I'm practicing the holding company game, I have multiple companies in my corporate portfolio. I have companies that make money and the car rental company was a company that lost money which realized a $750,000 in deductions and losses. And I'm going to be $150,000 to the good when it's all said and done. And I was like, wow, I need some more of that in my life. Options in day trading. So I have the ability to have, cause this is, this is kind of my plan. And I sent out an email. Um, I'm gonna have probably use TD American Trade for my day trading. I'm gonna fund that account to 100,000, and I'm gonna use Schwab for my options trading, and I'm gonna fund that account to 100,000. So, because I have cash, because I have cash, and like I said, I've watched so many videos about trading, and this is one of the things that I consistently see that the average person is trying to become a trader so they can get money. So once again, I am going to paper trade. I've actually seen videos, people saying, don't paper trade, go into the live markets and start trading instantly, which I think is completely stupid because once again, because I have money and once again, all the moist men, oh God, he's bragging, he's bragging. You little weak motherfuckers. The real estate trapper did the video talking to you clowns. Because here's the thing. I have built businesses that have given me this money, which I'm going to deploy like a wolf. Once again, the wolves, all the wolves are sitting on cash. They're not sitting on credit. They're not trying to develop business credit the wolves are sitting on cash. Let's talk about another wolf, Elon Musk. This is the game that Elon Musk was playing until he recently sold some stock. Elon Musk wasn't paying taxes. He was a billionaire that wasn't paying taxes. Cause you know what Elon Musk was like, go to the bank, it's like, hey, would you hold X amount of my Tesla shares as collateral and give me a loan? And this was the money he was using to live off and he was paying the bank with Tesla money not paying taxes. How many of you are sitting on billions of dollars worth of stock that you can go to the bank and play that game? Not many. Once again, the wolves are sitting on cash, not business credit, not, and th this is one of the things. And my credit cards are like right there. Uh, otherwise I would just grab them and show them to you. But I have good credit. I have almost a million dollars in credit. And you know what? I'm not using it. You want to know why? 
because I have something that is better than credit. A business with significant cash flow. This is the game that I learned from the wolves. Once again, I don't listen to all these folks. Don't put no money in the bank. Invest all your money. I got a question and put this in the comment. How many of these people who are investors can go pay cash for not one, but two cars at the same time? How many of them? How many of them? Please put their names in the comment section because the majority of these clowns are financing cars because they don't have enough cash above and beyond what they need to live to actually put money in a car. Like I spent $200,000 almost two years ago on two cars. And guess what? Because I have a business, a lesson learned from the wolves, because if you look at the billionaire class, all of them have businesses. They don't have investments. Well, well here's the thing. Their primary driver for revenue, for cash, is a business. It's not their investments. Their investments are to preserve their cash. This is the game I learned from the wolf. So be like a wolf. Don't be like the average person because I am seeing people on YouTube claim to be millionaires but are living like an exaggerated average person. They're financing cars. They don't have enough cash to pay cash for a house or a car. And they're like, I'm a millionaire. I got a seven figure net worth. Really? Really? Once again, don't be like these people. Be like a wolf. Wolves have cash flowing businesses. These are, this, these are wolf tactics because the wolves are getting ready to eat. Because once again, since I'm an ethical person and I'm not going to go out and try to, if something comes my way, if a really good deal comes my way, I'll probably jump on it. But I'm not going out looking for people who are distressed. I'm not looking for distressed assets. That's not my jam. But once again, that's the jam of the wolves. And there's about to become a lot of distressed assets in the marketplace. And once again, be like a wolf. Start a business because once again, since I have like, I'm going to do like, let me go ahead and give you my plans. I'm going to day trade uh, September, October, November, J December, and then January, I'm going to go live because I'm creating a professional trading account. And there's a brother on YouTube by the name of Brian Rivera, CPA, who spells out all of the things that you need to do to create a professional trading company. And that last thing is what messes up most traders. Time in the market. The market is open 240 days. You need to be trading 190 of those days. And the average trader on YouTube, number one, let's talk about this because they don't have no money. They don't have the $25,000 to get around the pattern day trader rule. That's the first thing. And then second of all, they don't have the business acumen to realize that they need to professionally, like uh, recently there was a guy by the name, a young guy who bought, who had like, first of all, let's talk about this because he's, he's, he's doing wolf-like tactics. This young guy, I forget his name, I think it's Frederick. Uh, Ryan Cohen was another guy who bought the Bed Bath & Beyond stock and I was looking at the paperwork and Ryan Cohen bought Bed Bath & Beyond through an LLC. And this young guy who's 20 years old, and let's talk about this. He's 20 years old and he was able to get $25 million from friends and family. Let me say this again. He was 20 years old and he was able to get $25 million from friends and family. That tells me a lot. Number one, this 20 year old grew up in a wealthy family. How many of you have friends? I have friends, like I would never ask them because that's just not my way of doing stuff, but I have friends with that kind of money. But unless I had something that was 100% surefire, I would not ask my friends for money to invest in something. I, I just wouldn't do it but I have got friends with that kind of money. 
And I know for him to have like one friend, I, I want you to think about this. You're 20 years old and you're like, hey, and because he got success with game stock, um, that gave people, that gave him credibility. But I want you to think this 20 year old knows friends and family with millions of dollars. They didn't give him all their money. They was like, here's 2 million, here's 3 million, here's 4 million. Wolf-like activity. These people had millions of dollars cash money in the bank to give to this 20 year old kid to buy the Bed Bath & Beyond stock. He, his friends and family are wolves. They're rich people. He doesn't have, like, uh, seriously, put this in the comment. How many of you can go to a hundred of your friends and raise $25 million? Let's look at Jay Morrison. Jay Morrison created the Tesla Real Estate Trust or whatever it was called. I think he raised 15 million. He raised 15 million. Jay Morrison, who has a YouTube channel, who has social media clout, raised 15 million. This 20 year old kid raised $10 million more than Jay Morrison going to his friends and family. Wolf-like activity. Wolves have money in the bank. Like once again, all of these YouTubers who are like, don't, don't keep your money in the bank, invest your money. These folks are damn near a, a dollar away from being broke. You wanna know why I say that? Because I have been around authentically rich people. And I'm not talking about the millionaire next door. I'm not talking about that. I am talking about folks who can go out and pay 20, 30 million dollars for a yacht because they have the money in the bank. That's what I'm talking about. Authentically rich people, not net worth rich people. Like my net worth is, you know, a million dollars between my house and my, my retirement. I'm not talking about those folks. Those people are, once again, it's better to have that, to have a house that's paid off, to have stocks and have a retirement fund that makes you from an asset-based millionaire. That's better to have than not have. I'm not going to say that's stupid, but what I want to illustrate to you is the reality of being a wolf and being an average person and modeling your behavior after wolves versus average people. Because once again, this is why, you know, you, you have a lot of people who put out what I call regurgitated advice. Like right now, I, I put up a video on B School for Hustlers talking about don't buy the dip. And once again, everyone's like, buy the dip, stocks are on sale. And I in that video said that stocks have been down longer than they've been uh, the longest period since the Great Depression. And stocks have been down for six months. And this person is like, well, it haven't been down for seven weeks. I'm like, fool, it's on the internet, it's on Google. Why you wanna debate that? But once again, these people, and this is one of the reasons, like, once again, in my video, I actually started a new YouTube channel called The Corporate Trader. And in the video, I was like, I don't know anything about trading. At the moment, today, I don't really, I have like a flimsy understanding of trading. Once again, I make no um, proclamations that I am a trader or an, I, I am from a trading standpoint, I am dumb. I am stupid. And for me to acknowledge that and say that, it's gonna be the reason I'm gonna make a lot of money. Let me go ahead and tell you I'm gonna make a lot of money. First thing is I'm gonna day trade for four months. The average person on YouTube has, who's talking about trading hasn't done that. They hasn't done that. You wanna know why? Because these people don't have the discipline to sit at a computer and learn the craft of trading. They don't have the discipline. This is why they're so hot to jump to live trading and to use these risky esoteric strategies that sometimes work. That sometimes work. But once again, uh, I've started a new YouTube channel, The Corporate Trader, and here's the thing that I have seen based upon my research. 
that 99% of the people on YouTube who are trading are not trading from a corporate trading standpoint because they don't understand the game of wolves. Once again, this kid who borrowed the 25 million, he has a professional trading company. I saw the paperwork, he has an LLC. He has an LLC. So once again, all of the big boys, all of the professional traders, they're coming, they're trading from an entity. They're not trading in their own name. They're trading from an entity. They're not trading in their own personal name. Why? That's wolf game. So what I'm gonna do with the corporate trader is teach people wolf game. And one of the reasons, and I'll be forever grateful for this, the reason that I'm able to play the corporate holding game is because I have a cash flow in business. A cash flow in business that allowed me to buy a Porsche. Not actually buy two SUVs, two cars, and once again, moist man alert, I have a 2022 911 Turbo S convertible on the way. I ordered it spec and I'm gonna pay cash for it. So once again, all of these folks who are giving all this investment sauce and all this advice and how many of them can pay cash for a brand new car? I've literally paid cash for, will be five Porsches when this one comes in, five. Cause I'm playing the wolf game. Like once again, uh, there was something that was recently uh, J JT Pocket Watcher talked about it. Wallow on Instagram talking about, I have a trust that owns my holding company, that owns my assets. Billionaires do this, why can't you? Let me give you a reason why you can't do it. You don't have the cash money. Because here's the thing. Do you understand that an irrevocable trust cannot own a business? Let me say this, an S corporation, a revocable trust cannot own an, uh, a, a, an irrevocable trust cannot own an S corporation. A revocable trust can, but here's a big difference. The revocable trust is not treated the same way as an irrevocable trust. Let me go ahead and give it to you. If you have assets in the irrevocable trust and you do something stupid, like you hit someone and they sue you, guess what? They cannot get the assets that in that, in that irrevocable trust because that irrevocable trust has removed the assets from your name. You're the trustee, you control the trust, but you don't own the trust. So that little difference makes a huge, huge, huge difference in how the trusts are created. And once again, I got a video coming up like, if you're an average person, you just started on your business journey, you don't need all that. You don't need all that. But once again, these people are trying to sound financially sophisticated while giving out erroneous, unnecessary, unneeded advice. Because the guy who came up with the tactic, guess what he's selling? He's selling age corporations. Y'all know how I feel about age corporations. Anyone that is pushing age corporations is straight up lying to you. They're straight up lying to you. They don't work. Once again, to get, I recently got a business loan and guess what they asked me for? Bank statements and tax records. Bank statements and tax records. So if you go out and spend all this money on the age corporation, then go to the bank with your age corporation without any bank, statements without any tax records, the bank's gonna say, no! Age corporations don't work. And that's one of the things he's selling. I'm just sitting there like, mm, whoo, got me want to sing Negro spirituals. Mm, we gotta go down to the water, man. I'm just sitting there like, there are so many people selling garbage advice, felonious advice versus teaching you guys how to be a wolf. The wolves are about to eat. And guess what's gonna be on the menu? You. Your life, your wife's life, your children, you, you're gonna be on the menu. You're gonna be eating. Because like, once again, not to get into the reparations conversation, but if, 
black folks got representation repar reparations guess who's gonna get that money elon musk tesla the money's going to be going back to all of these entities who are already rich apple's going to get that money uh, chase is going to get that money that's what's going to get that money versus these people coming together and putting together their own collective corporation and making a multi-billion dollar corporation to actually do wolf-like tactics with these corporations. That ain't happening, that ain't happening. But the wolves are getting ready to eat. And once again, you should be very, very careful who you watch on YouTube and Instagram because there's a lot of people who will give you what sounds financially sophisticated and I'm going to explain to you why it sounds financially sophisticated. You don't know any better because you are not schooled in true financial literacy. You don't really know any better. So this is why that these charlatan snake oil salesmen can take advantage of you. Like me, I can see instantly. Like all these videos talking about do this simple little business and make all this money. Man, I've done so many hustles. I've done so many business models. And I'm just sitting there like, you know, maybe one out of a hundred to be successful with that business model because only one out of a hundred is going to stick with it long enough to see money. But once again, the wolves are about to eat. So you got a choice. You can remain an average person and be on the menu. Or you can start developing wolf-like tendencies. Number one, the cornerstone. And this is something that all wolves have are cash flowing businesses. And this is something else that many wolves have. Millions of dollars cash. You know that supposedly uh, decaying asset cash is trash. Grant Cardone. Grant Cardone, who isn't a billionaire, will tell you, don't put your money in the bank, invest it. But all of the true, and Grant's rich. Grant, I would say, has a net worth of three or 400 million. Grant is rich. But Grant is not a billionaire. Grant, like I have a friend who I actually think is richer than Grant because he recently spent $30 million for a yacht. Yeah, he did that. So once again, and he's old, he's like 70 years old. So, you know, he bought the yacht for his, his family, and his kids and stuff. And um, once again, wolf like behavior. So you can be an exaggerated average person, a net worth millionaire, or you could develop a business that produces significant cash flow. See, that's the game. That's the game. That's what you want to do. Because right now, you know, recession, the high price of gas and all this other stuff. You know what? When I need to fill up my car, I put my credit card in, I fill up my car and I keep it moving. I'm not worried about gas. I'm not worried about rent. Like right now I'm renting and I know they're going to hit me over the head with an increase and I'm just going to pay that increase and keep it moving because I'm probably going to get a house either next year or the year after. I haven't quite decided because once again, when I start this professional trading company, once again, there's a brother here on the YouTube Brian Rivera, CPA, who talks about it. He has a video. He says the minority of traders, the minority of traders qualify for trader status. The minority, because once again, this is something that I have been through. I've been in business and I've hit like what's called a bad spell. And you know what? When you're in business, you don't stop. You don't take a week off. You don't take a month off. That's that, that's that wolf mentality. It's like, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep buying, I'm gonna keep hustling, I'm gonna keep working, I'm gonna work this shit out. Most of these guys, when they hit a bad spell, they stop trading for anywhere from a week to several months. That right there invalidates the last criteria for you to set up a professional trading company. And here's the thing, guys, once I set up this professional trading company, once I get returns, this is gonna open me up to borrow crazy amounts of money. Crazy amounts of money. You don't understand. Because many of you are like, you know, you don't qualify to be a professional trader. Your broke ass don't have enough money to pay cash for a Honda, but you're talking to someone who pays cash for Porsches. That's hilarious. You don't. No, you don't have no money. 
You don't have no damn money. You can't live the life that you want because you are on the damn menu. You're on the menu for the wolves instead of being a wolf. You either hunt or you be hunted. So all you guys who are like, oh, you can't do this, you can't do this. I love it. I love when people doubt me because every one of my doubters I have proven wrong. Case in point, last October, Glendon Cameron was supposed to be done. Glendon Cameron was supposed to be canceled. I came back stronger, deafer than ever. Once again, none of that shit fazed me. It actually increased my business. I made more money. So once again, all you folks are like, oh, you don't know what you're doing. And like, once again, if you are a trader and you've been trading for two or three years and you've become a profitable trader and you're making 10, $15,000 a month, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. More power to you. But you're not playing the game that I'm about to play. And one of the reasons that I feel, and once again, correct me if I'm wrong, is I'm gonna have opportunities because I'm entering the marketplace with a large cash position. I'm gonna enter the marketplace like a wolf. I'm not gonna enter the marketplace like an average person. I'm gonna deploy wolf tactics because the wolf's about to eat. And this is the thing, I don't care what you can do, I don't care, you can march, you can protest, you're not gonna stop the wolves. You wanna know why? Because the wolves are in Congress. Go ahead and Google how the average person goes to Congress as a regular person and they exit Congress as a millionaire. Check that out. Check that out. The wolves about to eat. And I love all you folks like you, you coming up around like I love all the comments that get around the pattern day trader rule. I have the money. I don't have to get around the rule because once again, I meet the fucking standard. I can play the game based upon the rules that they've set out. One of the, one of the things I'm gonna do, because once again, you need to have a lot of trades. And let me see, um, you need to have about, let's see, four trades a day times 365 is 1400. So three, times 240 because the market's only open 240. So you need to have three day, three, three, three trades per day, every day that the market is opening to get to 720. So let me go ahead and once again, wolf-like thinking. Since I'm setting up this professional trading account and once again, I don't have to make money. That's gonna be a huge help to me because I have the time to learn how to do it correctly and I'm not desperate or oppressed or I don't hate my job. But once again, you need three trades. So what I'm gonna do is segment my account. Like once again, I'm gonna use Swab for options. I'm gonna use TD Ameritrade for the day trading. And one of the things I'm gonna do in my day trading account is buy and sell stocks. Once again. So let's say, like once again, I think Apple is 171 times 100, so that's 17,000. So what I would do is buy 100 shares of Apple in lots of 10. So that's 10 trades. Then I would sell them in lots of 10. That's 20 trades. And I would just keep doing that every week. So in one week, I will have 100 trades. Because one of the things is, I'm gonna have my 720 trades long before we even get close to the end of the year. I'm gonna have my 720 trades probably around month three or four because I'm gonna actively be buying and selling stocks. And like, once again, I can make some money doing this because I'm in the position, let's see, 17,000 to get 100 shares of, of Apple. So let's say 1,000 shares. 1,000 shares is $170,000, right? So. If Apple, I buy that 171, all right, 1,000 shares, let's say Apple goes up $10, just 10 bucks, right? So Apple goes to, but it's, it's, it's a 10 bucks per share. So if I have 1,000 shares times 10, I made $10,000. 
So if I buy Apple when it's depressed and then when it rises, and let's say I get the $10 uh, spread and go ahead and sell all my shares, I can make $10,000. Just doing that. And I'm just putting this out there because like, once again, I don't confess to be a trader. I am not a trader yet. But since I have this wolf mentality, because I'm a hunter, I feel I'm gonna be very good at this because I'm gonna do stuff that, once again, not to be disrespectful, that the average trader can't do because they don't have the fucking money. Once again, I'm entering the market well capitalized, well capitalized. So once again, to start off, I'm not gonna uh, expose a lot of that money to risk. Probably gonna trade like $5,000 for a few months other than the buying and selling of Apple and other blue chip stocks to get my trade allocation up. But other than that, um, the money that I'm gonna risk for day trade, I'm gonna probably cap it at about 5,000. Wolf-like tactics. <laughs> Wolf, so, so for, those, for those of you who wanna play the Wolf games, once again, I have the Intellectual Property School and this is the cornerstone for you to begin to make money. Because number one, I include home economics in it, so that learns how to protect your money and optimize the money you already make. And then with the Intellectual Property School, I teach you how to make more money. So go ahead and get in that first link below, because once again, the price goes up September 1st. So you wanna jump in the Intellectual Property School or I had a lot of people jump into the program, which includes the intellectual property school, home economics, and the art of profit business school. We're about to get into some wolf-like tactics. So you don't wanna miss it. You wanna be here for it. Go below and enter and enroll today. The link's in the first comment or it's in the description. Because we about to be eaten. We're about to be eaten like wolves.